even better. <laughs> I got it. <laughs> I'm okay. <sighs> My fellow earthlings, dearest everybody, you're all included. Not just Americans, but yes, Americans, I'm talking to you. I wore my uh, boxing winter gloves because these days you really got to be ready to get in the ring to have an opinion. So I'm ready. I'll even go bare knuckle for you. It's a beautiful day here in Fort Collins, Colorado. I've been putting off this speech for a very long time, but I decided this winter wonderland was a wonderful podium. I first came up with my teal, that's me, a clearer vision for 2020 campaign back in 2004. It is on this fine day, December 1st, 2019, and we are just a few short, scary months away from another presidential election. <sighs> it's been a long time, been a long run. 2004, Halloween night, and I was dressed as Rainbow Bright in a homemade costume, complete with a bright yellow yarn wig. And I knew George W. was going to be re-elected for the second time. I felt it coming like a hot wave of discomfort and agony. And I thought it was just about the worst thing that could happen to this country. I was afraid, very afraid. I was crying in my Rainbow Bright costume, and I said, I've got to run. I have to get famous with my acting before 2020 when I will be exactly 35 years old and I have to run to defeat this energy that is coming. In the years since, I've had some hope and that hope has been tarnished, but I've regained it. I still believe in a world of peace, rainbows, giving. I think we can all do better, my fellow earthlings. I know I can, a wise man that I know who uh, built his own wonderland with his own two hands over the last 30 years. The man has a 1800s grain elevator that spirals into the ground on hydraulics and a piano that comes from under the earth on hydraulics. It's an impossible land to describe. But he once told me, I'm really sick and tired of people saying that they did the best they can. At least you did the best you could. He said, no you didn't, no one does. No one's doing the best they can. Not me, not you, not anyone. And in 2004, I was so afraid that that was as bad as humanity could get. Old Georgie boy came out with his mission accomplished campaign and I thought, everyone's lying to me. This is all a lie. Nothing's been accomplished. And since then, we've gone deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into the oil war. And things have gotten much scarier than I ever thought they could be back then in my innocent Rainbow Bright costume. That night I came up with Teal, a clearer vision for 2020, thinking there was other people like the, me out there who believed we were capable of more. That after thousands of years of being here, we could do better than hating each other, categorizing each other into this box or that box. Check yes or no. It's not that simple. But now, flash forward a long time later, it's much scarier than I thought it could be. We are living in what is essentially the most terrified, terrifying episodes of the Twilight Zone run on repeat over and over. Back many years ago, when I was first tooling around with my Teal for President campaign, which, by the way, I know I'm not going to win, I'm just trying to put a different idea out there into the ether. I don't have a college degree. I went to acting school for two years. I'm still in debt for it. I'm a lower middle class citizen who's worked hard my whole life. I've had a job since I was 13. I'm an actor, so naturally I've been waiting tables for 15 years now. I could go on a soapbox about that another time. The way we treat the people that serve us, well, we could do better there as well. But back to bigger affairs. We're living in a scary time. The uh, grab them by the pussy fiasco alone is worse than any Twilight Zone episode I've ever seen. And somehow 
Billy Bush was the only person who received any consequences for that. And he was just nodding along, going along with something that he was afraid to stand up for. We need less of that, all around. We all have to dig deeper into ourselves, any little thing. Uh, just this week, for Thanksgiving, uh, our cart was stolen within a minute of being in the grocery store because they were out of carts. And I saw someone physically push an elderly woman to get a can of cranberries. This is not okay. We have to do better than this. Talk to your neighbors. Encourage people to reach in themselves and have a moment in the mirror where they figure out if they're doing the best they can. Because I guarantee you're not. I guess the people I'd like to reach the most are rich people. If you are a person of means, please do better. Uh, please tap your resources into something more than uh, vampire facials and acrylic nails and hair extensions. We're going backwards in so many ways. Back in 2004 when I came up with my campaign to put myself out there, which I've been very afraid to do because I'm afraid of the internet and I'm afraid of the trolls and I'm afraid of judgment, I'm afraid of hate, but I don't want to be afraid anymore. Back then, I put this in my acting school apartment. It says, stop Bush, the bad kind, because I'm funny like that. I believe natural is beautiful. Now, I feel 10 times as terrified. I went to the women's march, brought this bad boy with me. It was snowing then too, so I covered it in cellophane. It says, dump Trump, let us not go backwards. We cannot exist in a society where people are scrolling past the concept of white nationalism, scrolling past more school shootings, scrolling past people stabbing each other at Christmas markets, scrolling past to read another article about Kylie Jenner's latest hair extensions or the latest $2,000 facial where you can inject your own blood into your face to look better. These cannot be the things that we focus on. We have to do better. We have to do more. I think we should start a committee of celebrities with good souls and good intentions. I'm talking to you, Tom Hanks. I'm talking to you, Stephen Colbert. Dolly Parton, you're my girl. Jane Fonda, let's do this. Even Ariana Grande, girl, I love you. I think you could switch the conversation over a little bit from uh, buying million dollar rings for your girlfriends and spending money on your hair extensions and break up with your boyfriend because I'm bored. Maybe shift it over a little bit to some more important topics. But I believe in you, girl. You've got a voice. If you have a voice, if you have means, use them. Let's start a committee. Let's get talking. Jim Carrey, come out of hiding. Let's do this, people. This is the time. If we aren't going to save this planet, no one is. I have about $80 in my bank account right now, but I'll help you. I have ideas. We can do more. We can come together. So if anybody wants to help me, I don't know, click the likes, write me a message. Let's think with our hearts again, people. There's more that we can do in our communities, in our neighborhoods. I know I don't even talk to my neighbors anymore. I live in an idyllic community that may as well be Pleasantville, and I don't know my neighbors' names, and that's not okay. Reach out to someone. This is a world where we have websites that show you how to kill yourself. We have trolls saying that people should die because they're overweight. We need to accept the people that are struggling, that have differences. Come together, uh, farm more, I don't know. Let's throw ideas on the table. I don't have all the answers and I don't have millions of dollars. But I believe in a world better than this one and I believe we've got a lot to live for, and a lot to love for, and a lot to come together for. So join me, if you want. Thank you. My fellow Earthlings, I'd also like to point out that I wore my Good Grief shirt because it kind of says everything that I want to say right now. Good Grief. This is my friend Gizmo and he approves this message.
Teal, a clearer vision for 2020.